Okay, so uh, we just watched the um, the twelve minute Katie Alman TED talk from uh, I think it was from two thousand sixteen. Um, All right. And uh, what? Tell me some things that you learned from that. Well, um, they said that to find to get the first image of a black hole, um, you would need the telescope size would have to be as big as Earth. Yeah. So yeah, you need a telescope as big as the Earth. Except that is impossible, that's what she said. Well, um, why? Why is that impossible? Well, I mean, that would take a while to build and like... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, so that's... that. So you were, in the uh, in the beginning, you were wondering like how, the, how they could do it and it seemed like a pretty hard problem. Was it as hard a problem as you thought or was it harder? Uh, Harder, I think. Harder, okay. Well, so um, they needed a telescope as big as the Earth. So but they, right there. But she had a picture of one. Yeah, probably just computer generated. But, yeah, probably. Okay. Um, well, so seeing as they can't build an Earth-sized telescope, what they are planning on doing, or what they did was, uh, they took a bunch of telescopes from around the Earth and they had them all collaborate together to find the image. All right, you want to draw a picture of, of how that worked? Well, say there was like the earth here, and then you had, they said it was like a disco wall, so as the light reflects off of the little individual mirrors, uh -huh. it, it forms a picture. Um, but if you only have a few telescopes around the globe, and maybe some on the back, well, you can still get an image because when the Earth rotates, then you'll get different images and you can gather all of that data to help form one image. Okay. Yeah, so that was a, that was a pretty um, clever way to, um, to sort of stitch together a telescope that was actually as big as the Earth. Yeah, they sort of used multiple telescopes. Okay. But the problem with that was, even though you have all of this data, then you still have multiple images that all fit the data you found exactly. So you have to, you said like using algorithms, you had to decide which one was the most likely image. Okay, yeah, so you might have um, an image, I'll just make something up, it's like a star here, a square here, and a circle here. And that's what you see from your the handful of telescopes you have, um, but you don't know if that ends up having like a squiggly line there, yeah. or you know maybe it has like a smiley face up here because you just don't know. So so how did they how did how do you think they decided what the best image was that led that would lead to this? What, what did they do? I think what they, they did was they took images from everyday life and I think they also took images from like other astronom astronomical bodies like planets and stars. Mm -hmm. They took they split those images down, like they kind of like cut them into pieces like a puzzle. Um and then they reconstructed an image using those tiny pieces. And so, the, what this does is, like, if an image that you had, say, if one of your images doesn't have a lot of these, you can't really make an image, then it's probably not going to appear in, like, real life. Okay. And if an image has more of them, more of the little pieces fit into it than others, then that would probably be the most likely image that you should choose. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very difficult problem. Yeah. And as, what else? Um, tell me one more thing you learned in this, or you, that you remember from it. Um, well, I think the reason that this taking a picture of a black hole, another reason that it was so hard, because this the black hole that they're trying to take an image of is really, really, really far away. Uh -huh. It's at the center of the galaxy. So um, I think they, they compared it to try to take a picture of an orange on the moon. Yeah. And even like the most high resolution telescopes can only get it down to so much. 
to yeah. break it down. So I think I think what she said was that the highest resolution image we have of the moon from an Earth-based telescope, each pixel was like one point two million. Yeah, I think that's oranges. right. One point two million oranges. So yeah. That's a lot. It's like a thousand oranges by a thousand oranges, a little bit more, but yeah. roughly. It's still pretty good though. Like a thousand oranges is it's not even like the length of the block that we live on. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty but it's good. not it's still not the size of an individual orange. Okay. Cool. So that was really neat. And I I, I think that the algorithm she uh, described evolved a little bit uh, from two thousand sixteen to two thousand nineteen when they just released the data. But that's all right. That's that's it's you know. They were all working on things and things evolved, but uh, this is a great explanation of how how things, uh, the problem they were trying to solve and why it's difficult and some ideas they had to try to solve it. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go on to uh, the next thing.